Hello, everyone. So you will see that I'm not at my house. We are traveling for Willy Fireside Chat tonight. And we've got one other surprise coming as soon as she's done with her massage. That's right. All three hosts are going to be in one spot hosting live tonight. Isn't that exciting? So we are chatting about kid sent stuff tonight. Make sure that you comment either watching live or catching the replay so that we get you on the prize wheel. Um, if you are joining us in Zoom, make sure that um, if you don't want to be seen on YouTube or any other social media thing that you keep your video off. It's already set that it should start with being off um, and then your mic should be muted as well. If you have questions and you want to be heard live, then you can by all means click that to unmute yourself. Otherwise, keep yourself muted and you'll be anonymous. So, welcome Janelle. Do you want to talk about your stuff first or should sure. I do one? Sure. So, we were trying to decide what we wanted to talk about tonight. Um, I know we've done a lot of oil heavy chats lately, so we thought we'd switch gears and talk about some of the product lines that Young Living has to offer. And um, one of the lines that I absolutely adore is their Kids Sense line, so their kids products. So the two items that I'm going to talk about tonight, there's a lot of Kids Sense products. Um, we're, we'll highlight some of the actual products tonight. And then they have some Kids Sense oils as well. They just came out with a roller set of these oils um, a few months ago. So we'll talk about the oils, another oily fire set chat. But tonight we're going to talk about a few of the products. So um, the two products I'm going to talk about are the Kids Sense shampoo and then the Kids Sense bath gel. Um, my kids identify them as the sheep and the goat. Um, <laughs> so the one thing that I love about these products is that I don't have to worry about the ingredients. I don't have to worry about any questionable ingredients and using them on my kids. So when, um, when Sarah was younger, I used a very popular baby brand of baby wash and she was probably about a year and a half and she had some skin flare up issues. And we ended up having to do, I want to, I'm almost certain we ended up having to do like a steroid cream to get it to, to resolve and all of that. And this, so this was before I switched all of my products before I started with Young Living and did all of my ditching and switching. So since then I have switched everything. We only use Young Living products um, in the bath and lotion and all that stuff she's had no other skin issues since then. So um, what I would encourage you to do is go to your cupboard, see what you're using on your kids. And I want you to research each of those ingredients and type in dangers of sodium lauryl sulfate, dangers of propylene glycol, dangers of like all of those things. Um, and what you're gonna find is skin irritation, endocrine disruption, reproductive toxicity, things of that nature. It um, only took two ingredients for me to go, why am I using this yes. on my kids? Like, I didn't even have to do all of the ingredients, yes. two of them. And I was like, yeah, we're, we're switching. Yes. And the only, I mean, the only change that I made between Sarah having skin issues and not having skin issues was the choice of what I was using in the bathtub, what I was using for laundry soap, what I was using for um, lotion. So your skin is your biggest organ. And so what you put on your skin, your clothes, your body wash, your lotion um, for adults, your deodorant, all of that stuff matters and your skin absorbs all of that stuff. And so it can have a direct effect on every single body system. So some of the things that I love about these in particular, I'm just going to say as a mom, this is what's if you and I were just sitting and talking about what I love about it, the things that I like about these in particular, their scent is very fresh. Um, it's very a very light scent. So it's not overpowering. It's kind of like a citrusy. Both are, have like a citrusy type scent to them. Um, very nice. My boys use them and 
you know, don't think they smell too girly or anything like that. They lather nicely. Um, I don't, I don't personally dilute these ones. I might, I, we have four kids and I would say, um, A, I don't have time and B, <laughs> um, a bottle of the shampoo and a bottle of the body wash. I probably buy a bottle of Do each. Condition? What did I say? Body wash. Oh yeah. Bath gel. Yeah, this is the bath gel. Oh, bath gel. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were holding conditioner. No. <laughs> I can't read. They actually, they do not have a kid's conditioner. Oh, yeah. So they don't have a kid's conditioner. Um, the boys, I don't worry about it because I don't use conditioner with them. Sarah, I'll use some of my conditioner. My favorite is the vanilla or the um, uh, lavender mint one. That's my favorite. But we also use lavender, copia vanilla, whatever I have. I'll use that with her hair. I use my shampoo mm -hmm. and conditioner on Kira's. Yeah, and Sarah will use mine too. But anyways, <laughs> so I buy a bottle of each of these every couple months. And so for four kids, that's not too bad. Um, so as far as like cost wise, it's not like I'm buying a bottle a month or something like that. It's like one bottle of each of them every few months. Um, and they, I mean, like every kid, they bathe every couple days and, but so, it lathers nicely. It smells good. I, I personally don't think that the cost is terrible, especially when you're considering the ingredients that are in them. You're only getting good ingredients. You're not getting toxic chemical um, stuff. The kids lotion, I have it upstairs. I should have grabbed it. I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. So the kids lotion also has like a nice, fresh, almost like a citrus kind of smell to it but it's nice and thick so in the winter months when our skin is more prone to be more dry it's really good so I'll like lather the kids down after a bath um with that it rubs in really really nicely it's very nice um we'll talk about this in another oily fireside chat however if your child has is more prone to skin issues maybe something that maybe starts with an E. Um, we'll just go with that. <laughs> something that starts with an E. Google skin issues. Google skin e. issues. E. <laughs> what I would suggest there would be the seedlings lotion. I've had mm -hmm. a lot of people um, have really good results with that yes. particular skin issue and the seedlings lotion, which is a part of the baby line. Mm -hmm. Not that the kids sense lotion doesn't work well, but I find that the seedlings one works best with that sort of thing. Um, so some of the ingredients that you will find in, let's say the shampoo, it's the first one here. Um, the sheep. The sheep. The sheep. Um, so you're going to find ingredients such as there's chamomile, there's aloe, vitamin B5, there's um, um, jojoba, grapeseed extract, tangerine, grapefruit, um, lemon, of course they have, you know, they do have some things such as, uh, decoglucoside and, and things of that nature that are surfactants that actually make it work, um, and make it lather a little bit, make the oils and the water and all the other ingredients mix together well. So there are some of those ingredients in here. Um, and then the Kid Sense bath gel or the goat, so we like to talk about it. They also refer to the toothpaste as the animal that's on that. So <laughs> this one here. Hey, don't um, be taking my thing. I'm not stealing her thunder though. She's gonna talk about that. <laughs> let's see. So this one's got, let's see, tangerine again, lemon, kiwi fruit extract, extract cucumber fruit extract. Um, it's got the decoglucoside, the water, glycerin, those sorts of things are are in here as well. I actually um, I tend to get a little ADD with my shampoo and conditioner and body wash. So sometimes I'll even buy an extra one of these or the shampoo for myself because I just like to change things up and get different smells and it works great. So it's not just for kids. It works really good um, on adults too. You know, they have a bath and shower gel base that you can add your own oils to. Yeah, I like the pre-made stuff. <laughs> I forget you're not a DIYer I, like I am. <laughs> I love the idea of DIY, but like with four man, kids, just if not it's, yep. Yeah, mm -mm. If it is pre-made, <laughs> I will pay the extra for it to be pre-made and not have to do it. But boy, do I like the idea of DIY. 
And I really enjoy people who carry out DIY projects. That is super cool. It's just not my jam. I should just come for an afternoon and help you do DIY stuff. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> because. <laughs> So I'm gonna let Tessa take over. She's gonna talk about a couple more of the kids. You watch all products. the kids, and I'll add oils to your bath and shower. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So I've got toothpaste and tender tush for toothpaste. This is the kid scent deer. Mm -hmm. um, Karis doesn't refer to it as the deer. She just calls it toothpaste. Toothpaste. Um, also a very nice citrus flavor. This one actually reminds me a little bit of Sleek, if you've looked at our Sleek line. Um, so when I first wanted to start um, managing my healthy weight goals, um, I could not stand the flavor of Sleek, but I accidentally one night grabbed Karis's toothpaste instead of my Thieves toothpaste, and it was kind of the same flavor, but not quite as strong. And I was like, I wonder if I could like wean myself into liking Sleek by using their toothpaste for a little while. And Kid Sense is nice and cheap. It's actually cheaper than Thieves. So don't feel like you're wasting it by doing this. If you're trying to get yourself to like Sleek products, cheat a little bit, get yourself a tube of this, brush your teeth with this, cleanse your teeth just as well as the Thieves. And the flavor is really nice. It's a nice citrus. The orange will help whiten your teeth, which is really cool. Um, cleans teeth and freshens breath. And um, it's just a really nice way to get yourself into liking sleep products. So I thought that was a nice little tidbit you might enjoy. By accident, you're happy gain. You're welcome. Um, so Karis loves Kid Sense toothpaste. Um, Inara does too. She, for a very long time when we were trying to teach her to brush her teeth, would just lick the toothpaste off the toothbrush and then hand me the toothbrush and ask for more. Um, those of you who are friends with me on Facebook probably saw in my timeline about a year ago that Karis was throwing a temper tantrum because I would not let her brush her teeth for the eighth time that morning uh, because she loves this toothpaste so much. So I don't know if it's a bad thing that my kids are addicted to toothpaste. My dentist, I'm sure, would be happy. Um, but it's really great. I absolutely love it. Same thing as Janelle was saying, um, look up what's in your kid's toothpaste that you're buying from big box stores. Um, some of the ingredients in there will scare you. If you're in the Chemical Free with Castle Farley group, take a look at the article I posted about fluoride. It's a very controversial topic with dentists. A lot of dentists love pushing fluoride, but um, the health side effects of it. I just, I can't get on board with that with young kids. For adults, fluoride may be totally great, totally fine. Um, but if you do some research into it, especially for younger kids, like under the age of eight, nine, 10, it's just kind of one of those scary topics. So I love that this doesn't have fluoride. Again, that's a personal choice. My girls have great teeth. Their dentist raves about how wonderful their teeth are. Their last appointment that they had, he's like, I've never seen kids this age with this good of teeth. I mean, seriously, like not even a sign of a cavity. So to me, that speaks volumes. For me to not use a hot topic chemical like fluoride and for the dentist to rave to the point of asking me what toothpaste I use on them and for me to pull this out and him be like, there's no fluoride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think that speaks volumes. I think that's absolutely fantastic that you can use a product this great that doesn't use a hot topic ingredient and for my dentist to rave about it. So that's what I'm going to say about um, Kids on Toothpaste. Adults can use it too. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tender Tush, the one I grabbed is accidentally the one that I like show people. I just carry it around and if people want to borrow it, they can. Uh, but it's got the old label on it. So uh, look for the new label. It's much cuter. This one's the old one. Um, it's almost empty. But this stuff, so Young Living has two diaper creams. Tender Tush is Kid Sense. And then like Janelle said, we'll talk about seedlings another night. They also have, that one I think is called Diaper Rash Cream. Yeah, that one's actually, there's a few products that have been FDA approved. Um, the Diaper Rash Cream is one of them. Mm -hmm. The Thieves Cough Drops is one of them. Mm -hmm. The Colazool Pain Cream is one of them. So there are a few products sunscreen. that have been, the sunscreen, there are a few products that have been FDA approved for that intended use. Hand sanitizer, it used mm -hmm. to be hand purifier, now it's hand sanitizer. Um, Cause they 
the Young Living was able to show that these products are effective and they do do what they're intended to do. Right. Um, the kids, yep, yeah, the kids diaper rash cream and then the tender tush. Um, so this one yeah. came out before yes. seedling. Yes, that and one before came, we yep. had FDA approval. Yes. Yep. So I have both, obviously. The seedlings diaper cream, because it's a cream, I was not able to use it with cloth diapers with Keras. That stuff will wreck your cloth diapers. It will ruin the absorbency. Tender Tush, however, washes out of cloth diapers very easily. When Karis first started eating solid foods, she was having horrific diaper rashes. And Luke and I could not, for the life of us, figure out what it was. We thought maybe it was the detergent. We thought that we were washing the cloth diapers with. We thought maybe she was having a reaction to the inserts all of a sudden. So we switched those out. We switched to disposable diapers. We tried probably seven different brands of disposable diapers. We tried different um, diaper wipes. Nothing was working. This rash would not go away. The only thing, we tried multiple diaper creams, diaper, like the ointments, whatever. The only thing that helped with this diaper rash was Tender Tush. Seedlings actually didn't cut it quite as well. I'm not exactly sure what it was in here that was helping so much. It ended up being that she was allergic to sweet potatoes. Who would have guessed that? I don't know. We came upon that discovery by a freak accident. Funny story I can share some other time. But it amazed me that out of all the things that we were trying and doing different, all the creams, all the ointments we bought from, um, from seedlings to anything we could get our hands on in the store, this is the one thing that helped with that skin issue. So if you're having a reaction to something on your skin, um, I would say try putting some of this on because it helped Kara so much. It didn't fix her issue, obviously, until we figured out what it was she was reacting to. She was still having that issue. Mm -hmm. But the fact that this helped really amazed me. So if you cloth diaper, by all means, try this stuff if you need some soothing this down there. Um, if you're an adult and you get reactions to things sometimes, try this because it works really well. Um, my one warning with this is that it's much more liquidy than stuff you typically buy in the store. So when you, hello, you're here. <laughs> Come join us. We have a spot for you. We're all together. <laughs> um, so my one warning with this is that it's super liquidy, especially in summertime. So if you go to open this and squirt a little bit, <laughs> like like just just open it and see how much comes out because you may get more than you bargained for. So I love this stuff. It works fantastic, but be careful when it's warm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys some off-label uses of tender tush. Yes, please do. I have experimented with it. If you have baby boys and you should choose to circumcise them, whatever your choice is, that's up to you. We chose to circumcise our boys and um, after care, the instructions that the, they send you home with is to um, put Vaseline on like the tip of the penis to make sure that the diaper doesn't stick to the, the fresh circumcision sites and whatever. Um, I thought there's gotta be something better I can use than Vaseline. Like, there's gotta be something better. Enter tender. Um, who did I use this with? I want to use rose ointment too. I didn't because it's so thick. Oh, okay. I didn't do the rose ointment because it's so thick. Mm -hmm. I tried the rose ointment at first and it was just so thick and weird that it didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember if this was Levi or it was either Levi or Wyatt that I tried this with and their sir healed so much quicker. I actually think it was Wyatt that I tried it with. Um, Levi's Levi, this poor guy, he, his took a little bit to heal, but I think it was Wyatt and his healed so quickly. Um, so tender tush for post circumcision care. I, that's, I 100% would totally recommend that versus the petroleum jelly Vaseline. Does the same thing, better ingredients. And then the other off-label use um, that I would suggest so I don't know if any, if there's any moms out there or any, anybody who um, has had like hemorrhoids in their past, my every pregnancy, that has been an issue. Um, 
my I grow very large babies, so apparently <laughs> that's it's that. true. They come out with um, baby giants. <laughs> <laughs> but tender tush works really well as like an ointment, um, just to kind of like calm things down. If you've ever had hemorrhoids, mm. oh for Pete's sake, it's just awful. So tender tush is really good on your tushy to kind of calm down the inflammation and irritation from from that. I, just, I think that's all I can think of for off, off label uses, but that and I found, I used it as a lip balm once that I found really helpful. <laughs> it actually they work. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> work. My lips started bleeding because it was cold and they were chapped. I'm like, this works for stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. I, I, I'm not sure I'd use the same bottle for hemorrhoids <laughs> and a lip balm, but I have <laughs> you might want to mark them like, <laughs> really <clearly>. well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the products that we um, have for tonight. There are a lot of other kids sense products that we'll touch on. They've got some kids sense supplements. They've got. Like, what if mom wants about. to share something? Oh yeah, we just forgot about you. All right, what do you want to share? It's okay. I just came rushing in from this fantastic massage where I made sure I brought my oil with me. Good job. So I brought the joy everywhere I went. Um, <laughs> So it was just fabulous. Did she massage um, you with relaxation? No, with 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 joy. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. I, I have it right in my pocket. So it's look, like look, see right here. Any like a joy, an uplifting massage. Yes, I would have taken relaxation. Oh, because, I know, I know. Of course, then I'd probably fall asleep during the first session. I I will have to say, um, like because I don't have any small children at home. I mean, I nanny and, you know, I've got the grandkids, of course. Um, I will have to say that the tender tush is awesome. Um, and then the other, um, diaper cream, the seedlings mm -hmm. diaper cream is, is awesome. I've actually used that on the little guys that I nanny because they kind of have a little bit of an issue with tender mummies every once in a while. And, I just don't really care for that other stuff that you can get in the store. So I, I make sure I have that seedlings diaper stuff in my purse, <laughs> just, in, just in case I have to use it on, on the boys. Um, so, I mean, I just can't, I just can't like give it kudos enough that it, it really does the trick. It really does the trick. So there's my two cents. We talked about Shampoo, we talked about oh, yes. body wash, we nice. talked about tender tush and, and toothpaste. Toothpaste. Oh, nice. Is there any other kid sense products that you would like to touch on? Mm -hmm. Oh, I talked about the lotion, the kids' yeah. lotion. Oh, the lotion is nice. We about that. You don't even have to be a kid to use the lotion. Mm -hmm. That's it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Mm -hmm. I, so I we were like thinking we talk about like the oils maybe another night. Oh, perfect. And then the that sounds fabulous. What else is specifically kids sense? Mighty Pro. Yep, the mm -hmm. supplements, so like the Mighty mm -hmm. Bites, Mighty Pro, Mighty Zyme. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll say that for when we talk about like supplements. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But those are all really good too. Yeah. So do you have a, a, a quote for tonight? Yes, I okay, do. Gonna, she's got an inspirational, motivational quote. We've got, A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor by Franklin D. Roosevelt. I liked that one because so often I wish my day would go smoother, like especially with my three nature. And <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> and I'm just like, why can't you work with me? Why can't we have a smooth working relationship? But I've just taken it lately, and this is much easier to say when she's not throwing a temper tantrum in front of me, but I've just taken it to be like, we're sanding off the rough edges of each other. So a smooth sea or a smooth day never made a skilled sailor. I really like that. Mm, that's very good. Yeah, that's a good one. I also like that it's by Franklin Delano Roosevelt because he got us through the Great Depression. I think he's a pretty smart guy. A little bit of history for history buffs out there. All right. Anybody else have anything they want to say? Let me check Facebook here quick. See if anyone has questions. Mm hmm. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Teresa. We got to add you to the wheel of names. This is weird because I'm not at home. Hey. 
See, normally I'd have you two, you two talking while I do all this stuff so that there's not like weird dead air. All right, so now we're gonna pull up Zoom and we're gonna share your screen and share sound because we love how fun well, this yeah, is. Well, yeah, right? It like applauses on all like the stuff. Can you, get, can you guys see and hear everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> like our weekly thing. Everybody see everything? <laughs> it's the little things in life. And cool. All right. I think that's everything. Make sure nobody else lists any last minute questions. I don't think so. So thank you all so much for joining us here together mm -hmm. for our really fireside chat. This is so it's, cool. Yeah, it's really fun <laughs> to all be in one place. Less chance for technical issues this week. <laughs> Although I almost had a car issue on the way here. That could have been horrible. It was like driving through soup on the way here. The fog was horrible. But we're here. Mm -hmm. And this was really fun to host live. Nice. All three of us together. Yeah. Yes, Delaware sure. and Appleton mm -hmm. and Heal. All in one place. All in one place. All in one place. <laughs> so we hope you all have a wonderful week. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to any of us. If you're ready to get your kit or you need to place an order, but you're not sure how to do that, contact Janelle or Ann or myself. We'd love to hook you up. And we hope that you have a wonderful week. And we will see you here same time different places <laughs> next week. Next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>